Oh, hi. Welcome, welcome to my home. Do you want to talk to me? We haven't met before, have we? Do you want to hear what I have to say? I do. Pardon me. Let me start over. Greetings, favored one. God is with you. Um, what kind of greeting is this? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you're going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and his kingdom will have no end. How, how is this going to happen? How can this be? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born, will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Also, your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby, even though no people thought it would be possible. But nothing is impossible with God. Was all of that a question? Oh. Uh, well, are you asking me if I want to do this? Good question. Uh, yes. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to this message. I need to see Elizabeth. Mm, best pickles ever. Elizabeth, are you home? I'm coming in. Come on in, Mary. Mary, I have to tell you something. You are so blessed among women, and the baby in your womb is also blessed. The moment the sound of your greeting entered my ears, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. <sighs> Elizabeth, I'm also bursting with good news. God took one good look at me, and look what happened. I'm the most blessed woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. I'm talking about the God who knocked down the powerful off their thrones and lifted up the lowly. So, can I stay with you for a few months? Sure. Mary is pregnant. How's that possible? You aren't even married yet, and the law says that that is not good. Not good at all. She claims that this child, the child she carries, is actually God's child. My only option is to marry her and then... I guess divorce her quietly. At least that'll save my reputation, but she'll be disgraced. I don't know what to do, and I'm afraid. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to get married. God's Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus. God saves, because he will save his people from their sins. Oh, uh, I'm going to marry Mary. I'm going to marry Mary. And I'm going to have a baby and name him Jesus. I'm going to be a dad. Oh, I got a pack. Citizens of Rome, it is I, your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Light, Way, and Prince of Peace. been an emperor as powerful and glorious as me. My empire is vast. All you people are obedient. I am saving you 
all, all of you, and you owe me so much, so much. Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, let's get a good head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and register your family so that you can show proper appreciation of my awesomeness. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know my magnificent ways. Farewell. Okay, so the good news is, I think I found us a place to stay. Finally, this baby is not gonna wait much longer. Where are we staying? Oh, did you, did you uh, get the room at the nice inn that I like? The one with the good breakfast? Uh, not exactly. It was full. Oh no. What are we gonna do? Sleep outside with the Shepherds stay in a stable with the donkeys? What? No. Who would do that? Joseph, this baby is coming soon. I know, I know. The guest rooms are full, but I found an innkeeper who will let us stay in a small space in his home. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a nice space. Lots of hay. You know, maybe a few animals. All right, let's do this. Glory to God in the highest. <clears throat> Glory to God. Ah! Is this thing even working? Am I on mute? Are you people even listening? Ah! Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Good news for all the people. The Messiah is born, a Savior. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. That is all. Goodbye. So, you both saw that, right? Uh, yes. The end fight Yep. That happened. Well, we're going, right? Yes, we're going. We have to go. We're taking this sheep, right? I mean, I think we have to. Um, what were those, uh, the signs again? A, a baby, wrapped in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. We won't forget. Let's go. You too, sheep. Come on. Ah! That was a miracle. It was exactly how the angel described it. The baby was wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Friends, we have seen something amazing tonight. I don't know about you, but it feels like the whole world is changing. Yeah, but why do you think we got to see it? I mean, nobody cares about us shepherds. We're poor and we don't have very much power. I have no idea. But the baby's mother, Mary, Act like this was supposed to, exactly supposed to happen. Like this was meant for people like us. Maybe this baby will lift up the lowly. And bring down the lofty. Wouldn't that be something? It sure would. I believe there is no limit to what this baby can do. Hey, shepherds. Was that star in the sky last night? I don't remember it being there. Hello, and welcome to our observatory. We are the wise men. Wise people. The Magi. 
We're really more like scientists. Astronomers, we study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we'll notice immediately. And we just noticed a new star. We must follow our scientific instincts and find out why there is a new star in the sky. We now begin our journey. Are we there yet? You literally just asked that. How about now? <sighs> yes, yes. It looks like we're here. Here it is, Bethlehem. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. Yo, if someone say king, that would be me. I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody's talking about it. They also have the most powerful king, best king Bethlehem has ever seen. We got it, best king ever. So, we are here because we are looking for the newly born king. The child born king of the Jews. We observed his star at its rising. And we have come to honor him. Excuse me for a moment. I gotta take a call. Um, uh, hey, would you pull me through to like my smart people? Yo, hi, hi. It's your king. Um, the very best king. Uh, I need to know, uh, according to your research, where this um Messiah is supposed to be born. Uh huh. Mm hmm. That's what I'm. Are you sure? Okay. Bye. <clears throat> Hi, uh, wise folks. Uh, so yeah, um, this is great. Uh, go on and uh, find this child and pay him honor and whatnot, and get back to me about this so that I too can also honor him. Sure. Okay. We can do that. Let's get out of here. When we left Herg, he decided to, to sit around and be jealous and plan his revenge. He felt very threatened that there was a new leader that people were excited to meet. But we found Jesus and brought gifts to this special child. We brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Usually these gifts are for royalty. Powerful people who are grown men. But we brought these gifts to a tiny, weak, oppressed child. Even though we didn't know exactly what was going on, we knew that he was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. Oh, and by the way, we didn't return to that wicked King Herod. Nope, no way. We were warned in a dream to take a different way home. You might say we took the scenic route. And now we return to watching the stars. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, God, have looked with favor on the lowliness of your servant. Surely, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For you, the Mighty One, 
have done great things for me. And holy is your name. Your mercy is for those who fear God. From generation to generation, you, O oh God, have shown strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. You, God, have brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have helped your servant Israel in remembrance of your mercy, according to the promises you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah, and to their descendants forever. Thank you.